Hi, I'm James Heppenstall. I'm a captain at Adidas Runners. I lead sessions for the South London crew. So that final week, it's, it's all about tapering and just looking after your body. You shouldn't be going out doing sort of big distances. It's all just about recovery really and just getting your body ready to do that, that 26.2. I'd recommend you don't really change anything. You shouldn't be introducing new things. For example, your kit, so running vest, shorts, socks, anything you're wearing, just stay with what you've been using in your training. Trainers, again, like some people think, oh, should I get a new pair of shoes like going into the last week or something? That's a complete no-no. Be on top of your nutrition throughout that week, making sure you're sort of eating right, healthfully. Again, not varying and not introducing new things to your diet that you wouldn't have eaten before. It's kind of keeping things steady. Making sure you're basically getting enough sleep in that week before, like not having late nights, being quite strict on your bedtime, getting in like a solid sort of eight or nine hours sleep, and especially like the night before is, is really critical. Look at the weather conditions, because you know if it's sunny, um, you've got to consider sort of glare. So do you want to be running in sunglasses um, or a visor? Also, if it is really sunny, you want to consider sort of uh, sun cream and other things to protect your skin as well. Prep for the actual day, uh, sort of getting ready, getting your race number sorted, making sure you know how you're going to pin it on your vest, simple things like that. You don't want to be stressed arriving to the event, so making sure you know exactly if you're getting on public transport, how you're getting there, are friends and family coming with you? Will you be using the bag drop facility or will you be giving stuff to, uh, to friends and family before you get onto the start line? Definitely recommend wearing a watch. If it's just a simple sports watch that you can time on, great. If it's a GPS one, then you're getting your kilometers split even better. How are you gonna stay warm? A lot of people go for a sort of bin bag, which then can be discarded um, like a few minutes before you set off or some people wear old bits of clothing and then they can be like thrown away and you don't have to worry about them. Post race, also really important once you've crossed that finish line, again, looking at the weather conditions, you're gonna want to sort of wrap up. So um, sometimes in the goodie bags, you get the sort of the foil capes, and make use of them. Uh, if not, it's about getting to that bag drop as soon as you can to make sure you can get your layers back on and, and then sort of enjoy the rest of the day. Don't stand around in a, a vest and, and shorts for too long.